So in this mini tutorial, we are going to do some Python again, but we're going to edit some of the settings of our character, even if it's linked. Uh, the question was posted on Facebook was basically, how do I change modifier settings on my character, even when it's linked, when it's a proxy object? So basically let's make first a proxy, gonna change, get Koro again, linked instance group, then, okay, this is my character, right? Uh, I can't do much, but it's linked. So I can make a proxy, for example, of the rigging, so I can animate it, but I can't change the settings or the modifiers or anything because it's, it's basically an empty. So how do I change this? We change it via Python. So for this, we can go um, to the console see Python console here and in here we're going to access the data inside this um, character this object so for example let's just start with uh, VPY yes control space like always to autocomplete then control space again then it says am um, context data we want the data okay data again control space and here we want, we could access via the groups or uh, let's better go via the objects. Let's show all the objects here. Control space again, again, and here are all the objects. Ojo, which is I, <laughs> I didn't change that. Plane, that's bad, I should have named it properly. Then eyelids, coro, mesh, body. I want to change the modifiers in the body, for example. Okay, let's go to there. Coro underscore mesh body okay now let's go no i don't want that this is the autocomplete i want to go inside this object so i'm gonna press dot here and then control space again this shows all the properties for this object i want the I, you know here i can change the rotation the scale everything but what i want is this i want the modifiers so let's go modifiers control space Autocomplete, then control space once again, and it shows all the modifiers, armature, mask, mesh form, all the particle system for this furry character, and subsurf. Let's, for example, play with subsurf level. Sub, control space again, and then it will show all the options for the subsurf modifier. Um, let's see. I want to remove it from the view, for example. So here we could do like show viewport let's see if it's enabled or not show viewport let's press enter and it will say true okay so it's enabled let's try to disable it from the 3d view because i don't know it's too slow maybe so we do the same equal and then uh false there now we disabled our modifier. We can enable it again, true, and then it's on again. We can remove it from the render settings. We can do many things, and we can even change the levels. For example, uh, instead of show viewport, let's do levels. And then click, and then, all right, it's one. Let's put it in zero, it's the same. Let's do it, let's put it in like three, four, extra detail it's nice you can change settings of your um, modifiers of your settings even if they are not in the original blend file in this blend file so let's do I'm gonna put it back to one let's play with something else for example there is another modifier called mask in this case I have it disabled here but uh, this modifier if I enable it show viewport is false okay so I can do true or better one that's faster and then I can enable this mask modifier you know the mask modifier right it's basically a modifier that you add and then you can 
paint a vertex group and use it as a mask. So um, whatever you paint in this vertex group will be shown or not. It's very nice for uh, disabling. For example, in this case, I wanted an, a little animation. I wanted Koro to come out of a rock. So um, I didn't want the rest of the body to be shown. And this is very nice. So. So that's one thing. You can change pretty much everything from this uh, object. You can change, for example, materials. You can go to objects, core mesh body, and then material slots. And then uh, we can go, for example, Koro. Which one? Let's go to Koro Diffuse. And here we have to go to the material again because we only access the uh, material slots. So we go to material again dot and here we can change all the settings for our material for example diffuse color let's go to diffuse color diffuse color enter okay it says that the diffuse color is uh, 0 020 for red green and blue so let's set um r yeah we could do it all from here but it's we could also go each yeah color at once. So R, for example, equal one. So it's really red. Green equal non pink. Hey, I like that. Because it has a little bit of blue. But if I remove the blue equal zero, then it's all red. And OK, this is awesome. I changed all the settings. But if I save and reload this file, then it will load all the properties again from this from the original blend file, and then I will lose all these settings. How do I keep this? I can keep this by making a little script. And uh, no, it's not hard. It's, I know it, it sounds already like, oh, I want to I have to make a script. But no, it's not hard, really. What you will do is just make a, open a text editor. Yeah. It's going to make a new text file. And then just copy whatever you want from here to be applied in this um, this text file. For example, if I want to change the color on load, I will just um, copy this line. If I want to change, I don't know, the, uh, for example, let's copy these three lines. OK, let's remove the beginning of it. There. And if you run this, for example, let's change it. Let's change the blue to one again, so it's pink. If I run this script, it should change the colors back to red, to so like green and blue is zero, and then red is one. But let's see what happens. Error. Why? Because I don't. Ha I'm not importing BPY. It's trying to get to make a script with BPY data objects, but it doesn't know what BPY is. So let's do it. Import. BPY. Now if we run the script, now it's red. Let's change one line here, run, exactly. So now we have this script. We could make it load into Blender every time we save and reload this file. For this, we need to uh, enable this button, the register button. But here is grayed out. For it to be available, so we can uh, actually click on it, we have to name our text file properly or with whatever, I don't know, any name you want, for example, startup. And we have to name it .py. Then if it's .py, then this uh, register button will be available. Otherwise, if it's p like the other p, it's, uh, it's not going to work. So it has to be .py. Then you enable register. And if you save this blame file, and reload, then there. It loaded the entire character. Why? Because the mask setting for the modifier, I didn't put it on this script. So it reloaded with the previous settings. But these options, they got saved. So that's why our character is or is uh, yellow now, because it has red 1 and green 1. So basically, that's it. I, there's so many things you can do in this. Uh, we used it for Sintel, I remember, for uh, hiding some special parts in um, 
especially in the bed scene when she is about to go to sleep we didn't want her uh, the plate she has on the on the hips or in the arms or in the shoulders uh, the pocket for example so it's, it's very nice I used it also in the little dragon and scales in uh, the bed scene also to ha uh, to make make it more specular so it looks more uh, sweaty after running so much so all those little things you can do it in python and you only need this import bpy and then one of these lines and it, and it works great it works every time and it works in linked objects and you don't have to access you don't have to open the file to change some settings you can do it all from here it's very nice and if you want to know exactly um, what to change for example, I want to change the specular. I, if you don't want to go via the console, you can always go to the material settings and leave your mouse on, and it should print the Python line under it. It says Python material dot specular color. So I can just change the specular color from here. Um, or for example, the intensity is diffuse intensity. Let's get this line. And let's just use our um, common sense here. Diffuse intensity, oi, intensity zero, and then it should go black. If I run the script, there. So that's how it works. So nice, and it will be loaded every time you save and reload this blend file. So that's it. I hope you like it. It's quite fun. I like it. I like this way of modifying and cheating because you can change entirely your character even when not modifying the original blend files. So that's it. Cheers.